Today's class topic is overcoming ego and anger. So we all know that Baba has come to make us pure from impure, viceless from vicious. We are impure because of vices. How many of you know English? Yes, raise your hands. Those who are listening directly without translation. Only few. And how many need Russian translation? Oh, most of you need translation. Okay. So then I supposed to speak slowly, huh? <clears throat> so we are impure because of vices and we know the main five vices anger, lust, ego, attachment and greed and their other companions. So today we are talking about anger and ego. We all know that this wise anger, although when we come to Baba, it decreases. It's not that intense when it was previously before Gyan. But still, whenever the situation arises, we react and we realize later, okay, I, I should not get angry, but oh, the anger came. So here you see, I will show you some slides on anger. Anger is omnipresent. Every men, women and children, they get angry, okay? whether it is less or more. But if I ask from you, uh, how many of you feel that after coming to Baba, you have completely conquered your anger? Uh, if you have completely conquered, even in a subtle way, then raise your hand. Only one. <laughs> Even in subtle way, huh? Good. Then you should no, give him a big hand. It's an achievement. So still uh, we are making effort to conquer our anger and ego. Uh, this anger is in every country, religion, culture, politics and professionals and no day will pass without the impact of anger like violence, murder, war, etc. in daily news, in radio, newspaper, TV, internet or any other media. No, every day there is either a news of violence or murder. All type of medias no, they have. So what is actually anger is? So we know According to psychology, anger is temporary insanity. Like an insane person doesn't realize no, what he is saying, whether it should be said or not, but he says. And those words, they always hurt others. When we speak in anger, the words, they are abusive, they hurt others and that's why it is said the wound which is caused by sword is healed but which is caused by words cannot be healed. And then it breaks relationships or it brings a distance in the minds of people. And anger is self-paralyzing emotion. You know, a person loses control over the self when he gets angry 
and it's like an acid which harms the vessel more than on whom it is poured like you no know, acid when it is poured in a vessel it destroys the vessel itself same way the anger is so much harmful physically and mentally and even socially you know, like it harms the person who is getting angry it prevents you from solving problems anger can never solve problems it always increase your problems and it makes you poor role model for others to copy the one who gets angry can never be a good role model for others and it's like an infectious disease can make other people angry too when someone gets angry the one who is in front of that person get those vibrations and immediately you know, this anger also starts and we all know the intensity of anger it starts with mild irritation to maximum out of control anger when a person shouts throws things beat uh, even the peak of it is murdering someone killing someone and how do we express our angry feelings it's aggressive way when we shout when we throw things when we beat and assertive way we do not react immediately but first we think about it and then respond to it we respond to situation in a proper way in right words it's called expression of anger in a assertive way and then some people they suppress their anger you know when they are in front of their officers or bosses or seniors or in front of those people who are respectful so they cannot speak in front of them so although they are feeling angry but they are not speaking so they are taking their anger in you know they are suppressing their anger and that suppression is also harmful expression of anger is also harmful and even suppression is also harmful so the aggressive people they react and without thinking whatever comes to their mind they speak immediately that is called reaction and the assertive people they respond and speak firmly aggressive people they speak loud and bossy you know their volume is raised when they are in anger when they speak volume is more and assertive people they express their needs and feelings calmly and easily okay. although they express their feelings but in right way aggressive people they don't care about the feelings of others and like to get even uh, they want to get done their work at any cost so they don't care about the feelings of others but assertive people they don't blame others but take full responsibility for their own feelings aggressive people they believe that winning is everything hmm? and they want their own success <laughs> means they are selfish <clears throat> and assertive people they respect others right and expect the same from others and effects of anger we know out of control anger is always destructive it creates problems at workplace uh, those who get angry easily people uh, they they know uh, they react so that's why they try to remain away from them because they don't want to get insulted by them on small small things so it's distancing it starts distancing of their colleagues 
and then affects quality of life. Those who get angry, they are always peaceless, in tension, anxious. So it affects their quality of life, that peace and happiness is gone. And animosity, they create their enemies and they are all hidden enemies. And those people, they have stubborn nature. The physical harms, you know, uh, because anger, it stimulates our sympathetic system. It's like one of the tensions. So it releases adrenaline, nor adrenaline in our body. And that's why many systems are affected when we get angry. Main is heart, uh, circulatory system. Uh, excessive quantity of adrenaline and nor adrenaline they cause rise in blood pressure the BP shoots up and that is why the coronary blood vessels of heart can go in a spasm because of adrenaline and high blood pressure these coronary arteries can go in a spasm and those who have blockages in their coronaries can cause angina. <laughs> angina, you know, it's chest pain because of uh, less oxygen supply to the heart muscles. So this is called angina and if the blockage is more, you know, like it's 80%, 90%, then even it can cause myocardial infarction means heart attack. So it depends on the condition of a person's heart. So if there is less blockage, it can cause in China. And if there is more blockage because of a spasm of coronaries, it can even cause heart attack. So those who are heart patients, they are especially told by their doctors that uh, they should lead a relaxed and peaceful life. You know? They should not react on situations immediately. Mm-hmm. And pumping capacity of heart is also decreased you know, when we get angry. And second effect comes on our brain. The brain's blood vessels, they also go into spasm. So there is less oxygen supply to our brain muscles and that's why the mental capacity it goes down so when we get angry we are not able to take right decisions you know mind goes into lot of waste thoughts and negative thoughts and that's why there is peacelessness and that time we cannot uh, memorize things well or we cannot think very deeply on certain things and subjects. And at times when there is old age, these micro blood vessels, which are very thin, they rupture because of high blood pressure and it can cause hemorrhage and stroke. But especially in cases of old age. And it causes tension in our muscles and 80 muscles, they get affected and that's why it can lead to headache and backache and sometimes insomnia. It reduces immunity for the diseases and that's why the person is more susceptible to infections. And we experience four types of anger in our day-to-day life. One is like lying in water. Uh, Lying in water means it comes and goes. So especially, you know, like uh, for whom we have good wishes and good feelings, but if they do some mistake, uh, we are not able to control ourselves, we get angry. But immediately, you know, like I realize it, 
I say sorry and think that incidence is over. You know, it's like finished. Mother and child relation. Uh, usually it's like that. You know, mother has so much love for the child. So as soon as she realizes uh, she did a mistake, then she loves even more than you know, th those angry feelings. So the child also forgets and mother forgets and things become the same. So this is called lying in water. It doesn't stay longer. The anger came and gone immediately. Other uh, situation is like lying in sand. No? In sand, the line stays for a few hours. So when we get angry on our close relations, especially husband, wife, or brother, sister, maybe those who are the members of your family, any, and if you are annoyed with them, then for a few hours the effect continues. But because you are living together and no, you cannot handle the situation uh, that long with anger. So one or other realize their mistake after some time and they say sorry and again you know, both become same. So it takes few hours to become normal. So it's like lying in sand. And third is lying in clay. You know, it, it stays for a few days. Uh, like uh, when in distance relations we have misunderstandings and because we are not living together so it's not very easy to resolve that. Whenever on some occasion we meet again, we talk about the problem and we solve it, then it finishes. So it takes few days to finish. That's why it's like lying in clay. And for few people, our anger is like lying on rock. Lying on rock, it is everlasting. It never disappears. So like my feelings of that revenge or my feelings of that annoyance are so deep for few people that I continue with that till lifelong. And not even lifelong, it continues for births even. You know, whenever you see that soul in other births, the same. Some, we feel repulsion for few people, you know, like, uh, so why this happens in this birth? Because we are carrying some negative feelings for them from previous birth. So this is like lying in rock. And although Baba teaches us, no? What does he teaches us? We should always have good feelings and good wishes for all the souls. And we find that for some people, no matter how many good feelings we keep, but still, things doesn't become all right. And the reason is, is karmic accounts. The past karmic accounts they interfere. But when we constantly keep those good feelings and have good yoga with Baba for those souls, then it finishes. You know, like It destroys all our past accounts and then we are able to maintain that pure relationship with those souls. So we all know the causes of anger. If I ask from you, I think you will also tell me very good reasons because in day-to-day -day life we experience all these. So I would like to share with you first. I want to know from you. I don't know whether you will be able to speak in English or not. But those who speak English, at least they can share. So in which situation uh, we get angry? Yes? When someone... 
accuses you. Very right? Yes? This child wants to say something, no? You want to say something? Oh, when somebody tries to control, okay. Yes? When somebody don't reach the dream or success. Oh, when somebody uh, don't get success, okay. The failure is one of the cause of anger on the self. Huh? why I am not able to get success, okay? Yeah? Expectations. Expectations, right. If my expectations are not fulfilled, desire. desires, yeah. When someone is not listening to me, hmm? anyone else want to share? Mind, feeling of mind. When we have not enough time, okay. Maybe too tired, huh? <laughs> too tired of work, work overload, is it? Okay, so uh, we'll just see the list. Maybe these are small reasons, sometimes big reasons, but uh, when someone borrows your things without your knowledge, okay? People make jokes about you or insult you, you know, like the sister shared, and someone says abusive words means if they are not behaving in a right way. A person criticizes, blames you in front of your friends. Okay. You have been pointed out for something you didn't do. Dumping responsibilities by superiors. You are already so busy and still the more and more is told to do. Someone spoils your work and belongings. When the bus and train is late, you reached there but you find the bus and train is late and you have to wait for that. Being given wrong directions, traffic congestion, your friends go off without you. Okay? Others don't behave or act according to our desire. This is the most common cause of anger that others, they are not behaving as I want and others, they are not listening to me. And when they are not fulfilling my desire, then I get feelings of anger in me. So here we need to use Baba's knowledge. You know, what Baba has said, that if I expect something from someone, they all have different roles to play. All soul has their own paths. No? So according to their roles, sometimes when I think that they should listen to me, you know, either they are my family member or children or my colleagues, my office colleagues, usually those who are supposed to listen to me out of uh, ten times, nine times they listen. Is only sometimes, no, is only once in a while they think what I am thinking is wrong and what they are thinking is right. So in that case, I need to listen to them. Maybe, you know, they can also be right. So when they are right and I should respect their suggestion also, and if I listen to them at that time, then there is no need to get angry. 
It's called understanding between people. We listen to each other whenever situation is uh, situation arises. Okay. Uh, and if I see myself uh, all the time, will I like to listen to others? Uh, I think so many times I listen to them. Why can't they listen to me even once? Uh, they should also you know, fulfill my desire. I always fulfill their desires. Why can't they fulfill my desire at least once? So the thing which is true for me is true for others also. So this is an understanding between relations uh, which, which causes, uh, which, which helps in helps in reducing anger or which makes us free from anger. And second thing is to control others. Usually we get angry because we want to get our work done properly. We think that other person is doing mistakes and I need to guide them. And in place of guiding in a right way, I lose my control, I react, I get angry and I say the same thing in feelings of anger. So, here again what Baba says, how should I guide others? I should say in a sweet voice or in sweet words, in a loveful way, in a compassionate way, if I am responsible for people to guide, then only it's my duty. Otherwise, I suggest and I withdraw. I should express my feelings in an assertive way. You know, we already discussed how do we express our feelings. If I am expressing in aggression, it is wrong. But if I am expressing in an assertive way, whatever I think about them, even if they are doing wrong, then it should be in assertive way. You should not even suppress your feelings. No, Suppression is also wrong. Say whatever you want to say, but say in a right manner. So this is you know, like controlling in a right way. Uh, never try to change others because others' life is not in my control. It's only my life is in my control. So just try to help them. Just try to guide them without selfish motive. Then you won't get the angry feelings. Otherwise, every time, no, like, when I see someone is doing something wrong or someone is doing mistake, uh, I get angry and try to control them. So it's same for children or uh, my, for my office work or wherever I am in work, in business, whichever place it is. This problem always is there. You know, those who are around you, whenever they do some mistake, we have to respond to it. So just respond to it. Don't react to it. Okay? And when injustice is observed, so if you see that you are facing injustice, then the right method is, is just try to talk about that. Okay? This is, I am feeling injustice to me. And you should not be like this. If you become angry for that, then there are chances that justice will increase rather than finishing. And even if you need some third person to help you uh, to take out or to remove that injustice, you can take the help of the third person. But never get angry on that. 
otherwise it may increase your problem and when someone lies I am deceived by someone I have a lot of faith in some relations especially in close relations no husband and wife children and parents so we know you know their nature and their way of doing things and that create faith in me for them but when i feel that you know, like they are really showing something and doing something else deceiving me or lying me so baba says they are doing mistake and if i get angry on that when i come to know they are doing this i get angry so is that right is that right that is also wrong so that wrong it will reduce my marks it will fail me i have to pass the situation baba says become victorious because situation will definitely arise because we are in iron age so these type of things will keep coming in our life but i have to pass the situation and not fail in that situation the person who is doing wrong is wrong but i should do right and the right method in that situation is try to explain the person that what he is or she is doing is wrong and if they will keep doing like this they will lose their faith and even after that they continue to do that then just be careful in the future that's all because it's their sanskar you cannot do anything for that you have done your duty you know you explain them in a right way that's it okay and then when you lose in discussion or negotiation you know, sometimes we discuss with someone on some topics but we find that i am not that knowledgeable the person in front of me and that time i am not able to accept that defeat so i start shouting and getting angry to hide my that um, weakness but that is not the right approach right approach is if i don't know something just accept it and always uh, then uh, make firm in yourself ki next time we, when you are going to talk about this topic and then you will be huh, you will be uh, you will you will try to improve yourself and you then you will talk about it okay this satisfaction also is the cause of anger when i am not satisfied with my life and this arises because of comparison with each other i compare my life with others and i find i am low in few things and that's why that le- that causes inferiority complex in me and that inferiority complex creates feelings of anger now uh, why is these things are happening to me why i cannot do this you know like someone shared you know like when i am not getting this child na when i don't get success so lack of self confidence uh, seeing others they are progressing they are successful uh, i am not uh, i am not satisfied so here baba says us Uh, everyone has their own karmic accounts uh, 63 births you no know, like we are following all those things so i need to understand whatever i have achieved in my present life uh, it is because of my previous births so if according to baba's directions i improve my virtues qualities my powers 
then I will definitely progress. I will definitely get success. So don't compare your role with the role of others. Being in my role, how can I become more and more successful? How can I become more powerful? That is the solution. If you compare with others, then either you, know, you will go into so superiority complex because if you find you are higher than others, then you feel superior. And if you f find that you are not uh, higher than others but you are lower than others, then that can cause inferiority. So both are wrong. Whosoever I am, uh, it's my role in drama. And if I try to see the role of others, then I won't be able to my, uh, play my role well. So I need to focus on my role and increasing my abilities, my skills, uh, my powers. Being inferior is different than feeling inferior. Sometimes, no, I may be less in few things from others, but it's not that I always feel it. I may not even feel it. Okay, I am inferior than other. And then overworked. One of you share about it. When I don't get time for myself. So when you are overworked and you feel that you are tired and if someone is going to ask something from you, you will respond it very, uh, you know, like irritate, irritating way, then try to convince yourself that even if someone will ask something from me at this time, I will respond in a peaceful way because I know I am tired. So this is like realization. Even if I am tired, I am overworked, but I will respond peacefully. And sick people, you know, those who are physically weak, they have very low tolerance power. They immediately get angry or they immediately get irritated on little, little things. So we need to understand their situation especially old people, they are also physically weak. So they, they get irritation, you know, like on small, small events. So if I am cooperative, I am compassionate, I am sympathetic, I am kind, then I will be really helpful to them. In place of becoming uh, irritating with them, I am really cooperative and compassionate to them. And criticized by others, this is also one of the reasons when we get angry, we don't like criticism in our life. Uh, if someone points out on my mistakes, then how do I feel? It's, I feel that person is my enemy. Uh, and we respond in the same way. But hear what Baba Shirmat is, Baba Shirmat is that even if uh, someone is criticizing me, means they are like my friend. How can they be my friend? Because they, uh, they are telling me, this is my weakness, I need to work on that. And if I work on my that weakness, that will lead to improvement in my life. Even if, you know, sometimes there is only one percent, like you go to your office every day at right time, you are very punctual, you are responsible, uh, but because of some reason for two, three days, you are not able to go to your office at the right time or you are not able to do your job well. So at that time, the one who is <clears throat> your critic, they get opportunity. Eh? 
they will immediately start saying, oh, they are always like this, uh, they are careless. So, that's not right. They are just magnifying it 50 times, 100 times. Uh, always, they are always like this. We are not always like this. So here I need to understand, even if that weakness is 1% there in me, I need to work on that. And that will help me in my future. So take it positive. And Baba says, if someone is misbehaving with me, if someone is defaming me, that defamation sometimes uh, is like because of my karmic accounts of past. Means in past, I defamed that soul. Maybe in previous birth, not in previous birth, maybe in the same birth. Hmm? But I forgot, the soul remembers. No? So they are, they are finishing their account by doing this. And this is my last birth. I have to finish all accounts here only. I am not going to take anything negative with me in the Paramdham. Hmm? So if someone finishes their debts, then how do they feel? Light. Because... You have finished your all debts. So here too, I, you know, like when someone is um, doing these type of things to me, then I should feel at peace, relaxed and carefree because they are taking me towards karmatit stage. So it's changing negative into positive. Understanding the secret behind it, the secret which is lying behind it, when I understand, then these type of situation, they do not create the feelings of aggression in me. Rather, uh, I am in good wishes and good feelings for those souls. And sometimes when you feel that uh, even if you know the reason of anger, you are not able to control yourself, so that time the method is just postpone it. Uh, like don't speak immediately. Just postpone it for one hour. If you can postpone it for one day, the best. But if you feel that one day is too long, I cannot postpone it too long, okay, for one hour. Even if one hour is long, no, like you feel I cannot keep, keep this much patience, then even for 10 minutes. And what will happen in those 10 minutes? You will come to understand the whole mistake is not the other person's mistake, it's my mistake too. So. It's sometimes permanently postponed because need not to say anything because we have we both have done the mistake. But when you feel that it's the other's mistake and they need to be given directions about it, if it is not corrected right at this time, then they may commit it again and again in the future. But by the time your aggression goes down, and then whatever you will say, it will be in an assertive way, in a right way. You will say your feelings and when it is said in a right way, then it is accepted. And that solves the problem. Otherwise what happens? Anger is infectious. You know, it generates anger in the other person and they try to prove you. They are not wrong. Uh, actually you are wrong. You have done this, you have... Uh, than that in the past also and everything, you know, so, so many type of discussions and these things will come up. Even if they have done mistake, they won't accept it. Okay? And next, how you can overcome your anger is awareness of the harms of anger. We know it harms us physically, it harms us mentally.
<clears throat> if someone is angry, huh? you are not angry, but someone else is angry on you, that time you observe silence or leave that place immediately with silence. That's what Baba says us, no? Uh, I would like to share one story with you regarding this, this Indian story of husband and wife. Uh, they were both having uh, this nature that they used to get angry on small, small things. And their house was peaceless because of it. And this husband, he used to go for work outside, but this lady stays at home and she used to feel peaceless throughout the day you know, because of the environment in their home. So one day uh, the neighbor uh, came to her and she said that I am going to have a gathering in my house today. It's a spiritual gathering. And one, this Guruji, Guruji means the preacher, uh, he will come and share some mm, stories with us. So she invited her to join that. So she went to the house of her neighbor and she heard everything, what the preacher was saying. And then in last she thought, uh, why should not I ask him about my problem? Uh, he can guide me. So she went to him and asked him, this is the problem at my house, will you guide me? So he said, definitely, sure, why not? But my condition is that whatever I will say, you should follow it. So if you follow it, then only I'll tell you the solution. So then she promised to him, whatever you will say, I'll do it. So he asked for a bottle, water bottle, and he gave that bottle to her and said, whenever your husband gets angry, you put some water from this bottle in your mouth and it will remain in your mouth. You need not to drink it. It should be, it should be in your mouth. So she understood what he wants. <clears throat> but as she promised, she had to take the bottle and she went home and it was every day's thing. On some, uh, on some problem, husband got anger and then he started shouting on her. So according to promise, she put some water in her mouth and the water was in mouth so she could not speak and she was silent. And this husband wondered, no, every day uh, she used to speak so much, what happened to her today? She's silent, quiet, uh, so he tried his best, uh, so she, she should also speak, but she did not speak because water was there in her mouth and she was not able to speak. Then next day again the same thing happened and the husband found that she's not saying anything, Again he wondered oh, what happened to her, she's not saying anything. Again, third day, fourth day, uh, he even tested her. Uh, okay, you know, like, so when he, he was confirmed that she has changed herself, you know, like she's not saying anything uh, in any situation, so it means she has transformed herself and then he started paying attention to himself. Oh, ah, it's, it's now my mistake. I speak so much on little, little things. I should not say such words. And then he also saying less, less and less. And then in few days, few more days, there was complete peace in their house. And they were not shouting on you know, each other. So this lady was so happy and you know, she went to that preacher and she thanked him. She said, I don't know how to thank you, but you're this uh, solution, no? It has worked so well that my house was like hell and it has become like heaven. But 
uh, the water is finished. So he said uh, that water was not specially treated water, it was just drinking water and it was just to teach you, teach you that, uh, that when your husband says something, then you should keep quiet, uh, you should be in silence. And you have seen the result of it, uh, continue same in your life, your house will always be like a heaven. So some says, oh, sister, it's very easy to say, but it's difficult to bring in practical. What do you think? Huh? Can you bring it in your practical life? Huh? If someone is angry, then you can keep quiet for that time. Yes or no? Yes? Huh? Okay. So we promise to Baba, huh? And then Baba always says that uh, we should enhance our tolerance, patience, peace, happiness, love and mercy because these are the virtues which are antidote to anger. If I am loveful to someone, then I will never get angry on that person. Because even if they have some weaknesses in their life, I do not see the weaknesses. I see their virtues. I see their qualities. This is the magic of love. If I am tolerant, then little things will not create anger in me. We, we see that in history, all great people, they had this quality. They, are, they were always tolerant and compassionate and loveful, kind to the mankind. Now, like Jesus, he was crucified. And what did he say? Oh, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. And that's why he is worshipped in all the churches. He never said, Oh, Father, punish them whole life I served them and still they are, what they are doing? Uh, they are crucifying me. So this is the greatness and we all are great souls. No, we are all Babas, elevated children. We are all going to become pure. So how should we behave with others? So we should also be need to be tolerant, loveful, kind and compassionate, no matter how they behave with us. So this is inner power, inner strength. Only when we have that inner strength, we are able to respond in this way. Otherwise, the world goes tit for tat. Tit for tat means, if you speak one word, I speak two. If you say two, I speak four. Hmm? So, more than you. I am more powerful than you. Why should I tolerate? I am not weak. I can also speak. I can also keep my favor. So, this is the thinking of ordinary people. But, Baba's children means when we are in Baba's knowledge, what's my duty is, I am world transformer. So, I need to transform the souls. I should not get influenced by their behavior. I am here to purify the world. So, when we realize this, then we do not get angry even uh, on the behavior of other people. Like we see in picture of eight powers, um, the mango tree and a child is throwing stone on the mangoes and even if you know like after hit by that stone the tree gives mango fruit no, mango mango means fruit okay so if nature can do this why can't we souls human souls do this so, we are the best creation of God. 
and by, it is said god created man in his own image so we are becoming deities gods and goddesses can't we do this if someone is throwing stone to me i can even give fruit huh so we have to become sweet like baba baba is the sweetest of all and what everyday baba says us in murli uh, we should become sweet like him i should always give happiness to others i should never give sorrow and sufferings to others i should always give happiness and sometimes no like when i do mistake then accept it when i accept my mistake i don't give chance to others to get angry if i don't accept it i try to prove it then it complicates the situation and it creates anger sometimes no we need to take anger in sometimes we suppress our anger and if you feel that you have suppressed your anger and it's going to affect your body negatively because it creates toxins in our system so that time don't keep those negative feelings in yourself write them down and offer it to baba and baba this this thing happened to me and i'm just you know like um, accepting it in front of you and i am surrendering it to you and you will find that you are light baba takes it and it gives you power to overcome it so never keep grudges uh, negative feelings about others in your mind either sit in front of baba or uh, you know like speak to baba or write it down and then you can even turn the paper and throw it try to do some physical work that also helps you no know, when you have these type of feelings in you uh, busy yourself in doing something or you go for play or exercise eat plenty of fruits and green vegetables because they have antioxidants and these antioxidants they neutralize the toxins which are created by negative feelings and anger sometimes even we can use reprogramming you know the sanskar of anger it's too strong uh, it is coming from 63 births no so you think a lot about it that you will not get angry but still no when the situation arises you just uh, burst into anger and then you repent oh you should not i have been getting angry and then at that time we can do reprogramming of our mind sit in meditation after having half an hour of power full meditation you reprogram your subconscious that if someone is not behaving as i want still i will not get angry now find out your reason why you get angry so easily and if you find that if someone is not listening to you that's why you get angry if someone is doing mistakes again and again that's why you get angry if someone lies you that's why you get angry or if someone deceives you or maybe you are jealous of someone so whatever is the reason just find out and suggest your mind even if that will happen i will not get angry i am a peaceful soul i am a child of supreme who is ocean of peace i am the resident of land of peace so the peace is my nature anger is not my nature anger is my weakness so i will never get angry even if the situation arises so maybe you know like you decide and the same day situation comes and you are angry you failed 
it's okay but your aggression will be low you'll find that your intensity of anger is going down so maybe it take 10 times to you uh, to overcome because it's a stronger sanskar so it may take longer but over period of time the intensity will keep going and ultimately you will conquer it so then this is the matter and when we talk about ego so we all know that when when we become brahmins then body consciousness ego is renounced no i am so and so i am doctor i am engineer i am professor i am businessman i am wealthy uh, i am beautiful whatever related to body consciousness this ego we easily renounce but the subtle ego you know we need to discriminate it then only we will be able to conquer it so the subtle ego comes in the form uh, the one who has this type of ego they feel they are always right whatever they do is right whatever they think is right they always consider others wrong so they do not respect the ideas of others and that way they try to control others and the second sign is that they never accept their mistakes they always try to prove because this was the reason it was done that person did this that that's why this has happened no always they try to blame others they never accept their own mistake this is again subtle ego if i have done mistake it's okay to accept it because they don't want to defame their name they don't want to you know like uh, go down their name that's why they do not accept it and the third sign is they always feel insult in any situation easily baba says no connection of ego and insult so if you have impure ego then one is intoxication intoxication is pure but if you have ego then you feel insulted very easily fourth thing they never accept appreciation of others if someone is appreciated in front of them then they always see their their uh, weaknesses their drawbacks uh, they have this and this you don't know so it's very difficult for them to accept praise of others because they think themselves as more greater than others so this is a sign of subtle ego okay and again they feel jealousy for others because they think others should not progress so again this is a sign of subtle ego so if i have that check yourself whatever is given to me whatever the specialties i have they are like gifts to me from baba now if i am knowledgeable if i am serviceable if i have a good intellect pure intellect planning intellect whatever you no know, like i am a good yogi soul all these specialties are given to me by baba so i am just an instrument so when i consider myself as an instrument then i am able to overcome my ego as soon as i and my comes ego starts and as soon as baba comes in between it's the baba who is the real bestower for me as well as for others so then i am soul conscious and 
I become, I really become very sweet. As Baba wants from us, we have to become equal to Father. This January month is especially is to become aware of the Baba's specialties and following Baba. So Baba is so sweet and we Baba's children also become sweet like Him. So when we become anger free, when we become our, conquer our anger, when we conquer our ego, uh, we really become sweet as Baba is. It's okay? Hmm? Okay? Om Shanti. Om Shanti.